Hello love. This is another review coming up. And this one is Budweiser Budvar, the original Czech lager, owned by the Czech Republic. Um, and it's a 0.5 litre bottle with a 5.0% volume. And it's brewed with the whole Cohen Sars hops, Moravian malt and natural soft water in Budweiser, Czech Republic. Now, <clears throat> you're probably thinking, isn't this just the usual commoner garden Budweiser or Bud that they sell from America? What's, what's with the whole Budvar and the whole Czech Republic shit going on? Well, I'll explain everything to you. You see, what happens once upon a time? There was a town in Czech Republic called Budovitovica or something like that. Which, in, to the German-speaking population of Czech Republic, of which there's quite a few, is pronounced Budweiss. That's how they'd spell it and say it or whatever. Um, and that place had the broody from the 1200s onwards. And uh, you know, it was quite a successful one. Um, I think the, there was more like Germans who came to the area and they decided to open up more breweries and they were called Budweiser as well. Um, however, this is where it gets kind of controversial. A guy named Adolphus Bush, yeah, Adolf Bush, it sounds like a parody of a politician, doesn't it? But no, Adolf Bush was a big businessman from Germany who moved to America and set up his own brewery and made absolute fucking killings out of it. It's now known as the Anheuser Bush Company, which obviously makes lots of stuff and I'll tell you what they are in, in some way. Uh, basically what happened was Adolf Bush looked at the Budweiser brewery and was happy with it. He liked it. He liked the way the the Czech Budweiser was. So what did he do? He moved to America and he set up his own company, his own brewery and guess what he called it? He called it Budweiser and since then that particular company and the original Budweiser's of the Czech Republic, which is this basically, have been at loggerheads. What happens is, in certain parts of Europe, Budweiser from America, the Adolf Bush one, can't call their beer Budweiser. It has to just be called Bud. And this can't be called Budweiser in like America and Canada and Mexico. It has to be called something else. I'm not sure if it's Czech Weiser or Czech Var, but it's something of that ilk anyway. So yeah, and they've been at loggerheads ever since the uh, since the twentieth century, which is only a couple of years ago. But still, not, you know, it's, a, it's it's drama in it. Everyone likes a bit of drama. And uh, yeah, um, oh, and by the way, apparently. Um, uh, and how was a bush the ones who make Budweiser apparently went to the Czech Republic to buy one or two um, breweries under the name Budweiser just so they could sort of stake their claim on it so to speak you know and say that they're the original the authentic the true Budweiser but obviously there's certain breweries in Czech Republic who say get fucked so yeah there's a little bit of history lesson if you can keep up with all that bollocks then you know, I commend you because I'm exhausted just talking about it. You know, I mean, Budweiser, Budvar, Budweiser, whatever. Oh yeah, and, and if you're wondering what the um, uh, the Budvar, where that comes from, uh, the Budvar comes from Budovice or Budovovice, which is the original Czech word for Budweiser, and Pivovar which means brewery in Czech. So basically it's Bud from Budo Vivice and Var from Pivo Var and it's combined together. So what we've got is a portmanteau of sorts. Well, it's just a portmanteau, isn't it? Not really of sorts. So yeah, that's that's history lesson. It's a complicated one, but yeah, the, Let's have a look at the bottle show. It's quite ornate, I must admit. Like a lot of Germanic Czech stuff. You've got the, um, it's got a nice little font there. 
Uh, you got the original Czech lager box there. And you got this, which I assume is a town crest. I don't know what it is. It's, it's a lion inside a shield. Oh, yeah. Budo, Budejovice. That, that's what it is. It's, that's what it's actually called. Czeska Budejovice. Budweiss. That's what it means. So, yeah. Because I used the internet to find that out. Didn't even need to again. So, yeah. And on the back, it's just got ingredients on that. And it's protected by geographical indication. Or something like that. It's got an EU fly anyway. So, yeah. That's what that looks like. Oh, hang on. Bottle top enthusiasts. More of the same. It's got the lion and the shield with a castle behind it. <clears throat> so yeah, that's that sort of thing. Let us crack it open and have a peeky weeky inside this peeky weeky. Why does I click it back down? I don't know why I did that. So yeah, let's pour in a nice green bottle. Bit of Budweiser, Budvar. Oh, it stayed in the glass as well. Thought I'd fucked up the pour then, it didn't. I don't know what it is. So, yeah, two fingered head, carbonation, moderation. Uh, it's a sort of. It's somewhat. It's just a golden colour in it, really. It's, it's like a pilsner. So, yeah, that's it. So, we know what it looks like. Let's have a sniff. Oh yeah, and it's owned by the Czech Republic. Apparently the, uh, the Czech government owns this. So yeah, imagine if like Carlin was owned by like the Tories or something. It's basically the same thing. <coughs> so yeah. Let's have a sniff. Okay, slightly skunky. And my nose, this nostril's a bit blocked, so take what I'm saying with a pinch of salt here. Yeah. And this head's just gone, you know. Yeah, slightly skunky with a bit of grass. That's pretty much it, that's all I'm getting. Maybe this is just down to me, I've got a blocked nose, but, you know, it's... That's all I'm smelling anyway. Maybe, maybe it's just not that big on the smells. But we know what it looks like. We know what it smells like, but we don't really know what it tastes like. Not right now, at least. I mean, I don't anyway. There's only one way to find out what it will taste like. Will it be Budweiser, Budvar, Bud, or will it be using sandpaper whilst pulling your pud? That would be painful, wouldn't it? But there's only one way to find out. Bottoms up, and up your bottoms, here we go. And that head has just dissipated completely. There's no head there at all. I was on fault to have a nice head in this beer, and it's just gone. So yeah, here we go. Okay, so. Skunky taste, but I've got the grassy taste. But I think it's a caramel. I don't know, I'm just Slightly hoppy aftertaste, but the mouthfeel is just non existent. There is no mouthfeel in this at all. I mean, I may as well just be drinking tap water because there's no the, the carbonation is there, but I can't fucking feel it. May as well not be there. You know, I'm swirling it around trying to get some kind of feel, and, and it's just liquid. So, you know, um, yeah, so. And every 
everything just feels fleeting. It's just... I, I uh, got told by someone that this has a full body, whereas the Budweiser that they sell from America is um, less full body, but this doesn't feel like it has a full body at all. I mean, I don't really like the other Budweiser that much. I mean, I'll review it at some point if you want, but I don't really like it that much. And this is... It's not exactly fucking kicking its ass in terms of quality, neither. You know, it's... Uh, it's just, it's fleeting and it's, it's got a non-existent mouthfeel and the aftertaste is slight as well. It's just, you know, if you want a sesh beer that's fucking, that's just sort of, you can barely taste. <coughs> I mean, if you, if you want to drink an alcohol and you don't like the taste of alcohol, I get this. It can't taste much. It's it, it basically feels like a sort of slightly slightly hoppy tap water that can get you drunk if you have too much of it. That's all I can say really. Oh and all it's a bit that's it's it's not shite. Well, it's not exactly fucking great neither. You know, I am just gonna give it a plain fucking five out of ten, it's just average. You know, I mean I've had some check stuff in the past. And the starter plan was quite nice. The Pilsner Echo kind of had that was quite nice as well. But this is uh you know, it's not it, is it really? You know? So yeah. All in all, I'd give that a five out of ten. I've had better. I haven't shaved for about three days. So I fucking I feel like I've got a fucking like a hedgehog growing between me legs. Just this little spiky, spindly hairs, you know? And, 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 and they're thick hairs as well. They're not like long and you can't, and then you can manipulate them down so they won't stick in you. No, these, these are just there, they're just like, ooh. you can't move them, they're just, you touch them and it impales you, basically. They're like little nettles. That's how I describe them, little nettles. Imagine having loads of little nettles sticking in your bollocks. Well, that's how I feel right now because I've got to shave for about three days. Yeah, I do shave because I get a lot of static and it itches. I'm a scratcher. Just thinking about it's making me itch, you know. So, yeah. I, yeah, then I've, I've gone from itchy balls to shaved balls to itchy balls again because I haven't shaved. So, yeah, this is why I do it. So, I'm just being honest. So, yeah. Budweiser, Budvar, 5 out of 10. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this video. I've, I've, I've done it. So yeah, more content to come in the very foreseeable future because you know, I've got more stuff to do. So yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it nonetheless. And uh, I'll be back shortly. Signing out everyone. Signing out. Take care everyone.